U.S. Debt Crisis, Biden urged to invoke 14th Amendment. The U.S. is facing a potential debt crisis, with the government set to run out of cash in less than three weeks. President Joe Biden is being urged to invoke the 14th Amendment to solve the crisis, but experts warn of legal risks. The debt ceiling is the total amount of money Congress has permitted the U.S. government to borrow, and failure to raise it would cause the U.S. to default on debt. This would crash the U.S. economy and inevitably global financial markets. The impasse between Republicans and Democrats is starting to worry investors. Invoking the 14th Amendment seems like the last resort to save whatever's left but is strongly criticized by opponents. However, Biden believes he has the authority to do so, but experts warn of legal risks. A U.S. default would have severe consequences for the U.S. and global financial markets, causing credit markets worldwide to freeze up and stock markets to plunge. Joe Biden and Kevin McCarthy are due to meet for further negotiations to avoid a potential debt crisis. As of now, child benefit is wiped out via a tax charge for middle-class families earning over £50,000. The loss can be well over $40,000 for a family of three children. Wall Street is struggling for direction as markets await updates on talks about raising the U.S. debt ceiling. JP Morgan Chase will gain an even bigger benefit from rising interest rates because of its purchase of First Republic Bank. Republican Speaker Kevin McCarthy throws out some fighting talk on the U.S. debt ceiling. Average asking prices for houses have climbed at the $372,894. Wall Street's main indexes opened flat as markets awaited updates on talks about raising the U.S. debt ceiling. Russian seaborne oil shipments have risen for a sixth straight week despite Moscow promising to cut production. Tesco has pulled 800g jars of Hellman's mayonnaise from its shelves and replaced them with 600g versions, known as shrinkflation. Federal Reserve Bank of Minneapolis President Neil Kashkari warns that the U.S. Federal Reserve cannot protect the world's largest economy from a debt. Mike Ashley's Fraser's Group is reportedly in talks to buy cycling goods specialist ProBike Kit. In a nutshell, the U.S. debt crisis is a cause for concern, with potential consequences for the U.S. and global financial markets as the coming weeks would be very detrimental, if go as predicted. That's it for today. Hit like and subscribe to DATG101 for more updates.